Have you heard of Henry Jenkins, the best-selling author, USC professor, marketing guru and media visionary? Jenkins coined the phrase convergence culture to describe a complex shift in the way media is created, distributed and viewed. This shift is as a result of a combination of changes in society and technology. Media and broadcasting companies are giving way to so-called citizen journalism, as these days anyone with a computer and an internet connection is empowered to create and share ideas, opinions and beliefs. If you have an email account, you've probably sent or received pictures, sob stories, health warnings and videos. By forwarding such a message to a contact, you are participating in a facet of media convergence. An array of electronic gadgetry provides a range of viewing options so that media can be watched on various screens almost anywhere you want. Heard of a video going viral? The term describes the way in which videos are distributed to huge numbers of people. If you've explored YouTube or Facebook, you've probably experienced viral media. Remember Henry Jenkins? He believes the word viral should be replaced by the term spreadable which is more indicative of media which moves across various platforms. Here's how. The term viral sounds rather like an unwanted affliction. While it may begin to describe the way media is distributed and even mutates or is altered by its host, let's face it, there aren't many viruses you would want to pass on to your friends. Jenkins suggests that if it doesn't spread, it's dead, indicating that if it isn't distributed, it dies. Media is spread intentionally because it appeals, not because it's an unwanted germ, or as the word viral suggests. Perhaps it's controversial, funny, unique or helpful, so you pass it on. The term spreadable media includes perhaps the most powerful aspect of media convergence, which viral media disregards. The ability of an individual to create, intentionally modify and distribute should they choose to do so.